Stadium on the campus of the Ohio State University in Columbus, Ohio. It's Ohio State football. Today, the Ohio State Buckeyes meet the Iowa Hawkeyes. Iowa head coach Hayden Fry in year number nine. He's won Coach of the Year honors in three conferences, including the Big Ten Conference just a couple seasons back. To start at running back. Hartley shoots it to his tight end who loses it. It's picked up. Racing down the sideline is Pellini. It's a touchdown. The officials rule that the ball is down. After the stop, Buckeyes will have the football at about the 27-yard line of Iowa. Just got it away. Third and eight. Tupa aims down the middle. Everett Ross. It's there going to be a touchdown. Running is not Iowa's strong suit. And they're throwing on this one long down the middle of the tight end. The catch is made inside the 45 to the 41. Hartley will hold for Houtland. A 39-yard attempt from right to left, and it's good. Buckeyes will have to be careful in throwing the football over the middle today. And those two guys, Paul, have a combined total of 12 intercepts. Tupo wants to pitch it. He's in some trouble. Throws high over the middle. It's intercepted. Grand Quast run out of bounds at the 25. Wide receivers have been employed. Hartlib on the sprint out. It's intercepted at the 19 yard line. <laughs> Tupa with ample time. Loops it down the right side. Ross wide open. On the loose. Everett Ross inside the 20. He's going all the way to the end zone. Touchdown. Hartley has completed four passes for more than 70 yards. First and 10 for the Hawks. Good pressure. Hartley eludes it. Now it's a foot race. As Hartley advances it for about 14 yards out to the 43. Third and three for Iowa. Hawkeyes must get to the 47. Pitch sweep to the left. Harmon cuts it back. He's got it and then some. He could go to the end zone. Jackson chasing him. Touchdown, Iowa. minutes and 10 seconds left in the second quarter and the Hawkeyes will go for two trailing by five they'll try to cut the deficit to three unusual formation three wide outs Hartley zips it into the end zone no good intended for the tight end cook the pass went right through his hands David Brown was on his back <laughs> Harmon bolting up the middle across the 50. First down yardage. William White and Zach Dumas did a great job. 41-yard field goal try by Houtland is there. And it is 14 to 12. The Buckeyes lead has been cut to two. Clock winding down under a minute and a half to go. First half. Two tight ends are in there for Ohio State. Second and nine. This is Snow. He's got a hole. He coughs up the football. There's a scramble for it. Who got it at the 20? Clock stops at a minute 10. Marchman still undecided as to whose possession it is. Hawkeyes have it. Draw play. This is Bayless. 
Diving up ahead to the 30. Hartley down the middle. Cook the tight end at the 28. He's rolled down by Andrew Gerd. Another first down Hawks. 26 seconds to go first half. Hartley completing 68% of his passes coming into this game today. Second down and 10. It's Cook inside the 10. And he charges to the 5. A 22-yard field goal try by Houtland. He is 8 for 8 this year inside 30 yards. And this one is on the money. We'll be back with more Ohio State football in a moment. 90,090 on hand here at Ohio Stadium today. The fifth largest crowd ever at Ohio Stadium. Buckeyes must get to the 13 for a first down. Tupa delivers. It's a touchdown. Jeff Ellis. After three periods, Buckeyes 21, Buckeyes 15. We'll return with more Ohio State football in a moment. Marciano was back at the 10. Tupa's inside is 30. Turn back inside the 40-yard line. Mike Burke was the man who picked off the deflected kick. Tremendous pressure applied on Tupa by the Hawkeyes. About six needed for a first down. Hartley wants to throw for it. Throwing a long one wide open is Cook. And he falls out of bounds at about the 10. Play clock is down to four. Up over the top goes the fullback. He's in for a touchdown. Iowa has tied it at 21. Nine minutes, 11 seconds left in the fourth quarter. This is play number 16 of this drive. A real time-consuming drive by Ohio State. This is Carlos dancing inside the 10. He's gone. Touchdown. Keep that in mind. Now the Buckeyes go for two, leading by five, 27-22. Two receivers split far right out of your picture to the bottom of the screen. Workman and Ross flank far right. Back to this side is Cook, and he's hemmed in at the two-yard line as the Hawkeyes smelled it out. And he drills it down the middle, backing up Harmon to the one. He's on the loose. Harmon zipped all the way out to the 36-yard line. This is Hartley throwing up the right side. The tight end is wide open. One minute, 16 seconds to go. Two tight ends, two wide receivers. The pass for Cook is caught. He's rolled down at the 15. We're down to one minute to go. Iowa has a timeout left, just one. Oh, come on! Iowa has expended all its timeouts. They have none left. They must get to the five for a first down. Second down and 18 yards to go. It's a pitch out. Harmon sweeping to the right. The Buckeyes tackle him, and he stays in bounds. The clock runs. Eric Cumro with two great plays in a row. A quarterback sack. And then the tackle by Harmon, who tried to get out of bounds. He couldn't do it. We're down to 25 seconds left. Third down. Iowa must get a first down at the five. They need a touchdown to win it. Cumro after the quarterback again, and it's a bad throw. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Buckeyes trying to regain a lot of respect with a victory over Iowa. Fourth down. The pass is down to the 10-yard line. It's caught, and it's down to the goal line. It's a touchdown for Iowa.
Six seconds to go. Earl Bruce and the Buckeyes deserve better fate. Iowa's last offensive play of the game. Touchdown to Cook. It is the same play that they had completed two other times by sending the wide receiver deep and then the tight end trailing, hanging the sideline, and it works again. As Bell cannot turn to look for the football and he misses Cook, the converging Buckeyes cannot stop the big tight end before he breaks into the plane. Tough break for the Buckeyes, as you said, Jack. They deserve a better fate. Sure do. Extra point try coming by Houtland. And it's good, and it's 29-27. Who would have believed? When the Buckeyes kept throwing passes at Chris Carter, and Alabama kept committing fouls. This is Tupa. Clock is down to zero. He hurls a bomb for Tony Cupe, and it is broken up down inside the 10-yard line, intercepted by Iowa, and the Hawkeyes on their last offensive play of the game have pulled out a thriller 29 to 27 Buckeyes Paul deserve better fate and now it's Michigan next week in Ann Arbor Buckeyes try to regain some of that respect that they were gee just a few seconds away from regaining today just a few seconds away from regaining today but they played a fine ball game throughout the day both offensively and defensively deserved a better fate but it wasn't to be a two-point loss last week, another two-point setback today. Buckeyes seem to be snake bit. Fine game quarterback for Tom Tupa. Hayden Fry winning for the first time here in Ohio Stadium. First time since 1959 Iowa has won here in Columbus. So for Paul Warfield and Steve Bassford, our statistician, Jim Henderson, our spotter, this is Jack Kramer saying so long from Ohio Stadium in Columbus where Iowa has edged Ohio State 29-27.